The remains of the royal prince, Count of Thebes, and two other ancient Egyptian mummies have been scanned at North Shore University Hospital in New York. The mummies range in age from more than 3,000 years old to just over 1,700 years old. They were brought from the Brooklyn Museum for screening. We hope to discover such things as the, uh, the um, history of disease, the, um, to verify gender of the mummies that are, have been unwrapped, that have not been unwrapped, and to um, perhaps find the cause of death and also the age at death. But what the new scan results show turned out to be much more than that. The mummy labeled Lady Whore in fact turns out to be a man. In that one in particular, the soft tissues were very well preserved, and you can actually see the penis is still intact. You can make uh, out some of the structure of the internal organ of the penis, and so um, that's how we were able to tell beyond a reasonable doubt that this was a male. Lady Whore is thought to be around 2,000 years old and was first discovered in 1937. The casket was believed to contain a female body because the casket did not feature a beard, the usual sign of a male mummy. And there are actually 64 detectors in there. Each one of these detectors are 0.6 millimeters thick. So each one of those can give us a slice, a cut, if you will, of the, the actual body or whatever it is that you're scanning in there. And by doing that, your resolution, your ability to resolve two points in space is 0.6 millimeters because that's, that's how thin those slices are. It's actually going to, I think, revise our, some of our ideas about, about how you can tell whether, whether a mummy case is intended for a male or a female. CT scans were first performed on the remains beginning in the 1980s, but they produced poorer images. The mummies will go on display at the Brooklyn Museum and some of the scans will become part of the exhibit.